Hey, Primary 6 Foundation Math Prodigy to score Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery. And today we're going to go into the final question of your assessment paper. All right, so let's take a look at the final question. It's a simple question of discounts, okay? So it says the usual price of the oven, which is over here, is $120. What is its price after the discount? The discount given is 20%, okay? So let's, before we go into the question, let's explain some things, okay? This is the concept of discounts and also taxes, okay? And this comes from what topic? If you already know what this is, okay? It should, you should be able to know um, what topic this is from. This is from the topic of percentages. So percentages. Okay, good. Now, what are discounts? Discounts is basically saying, okay, I go to the mama shop. Okay, not mama shop lah. I go to the, I go to the, market for example the wet market and i bought myself maybe um three or maybe five kilo uh, five grams or five grams lah. i bought five kilograms of fish okay five kilograms of fish example lah. and um i actually each kilograms actually cost me uh, maybe 250 therefore uh per kilogram with uh, just write it properly 250 per kilograms Therefore, in 5 kilograms, how much would it be? It would be 1250. So it would be 1250. Example. But I bargain bargain with the uncle there or with the auntie there and I get it for only $10. So that means I'm asking for a discount or a reduction in the price. I'm asking to be cheaper, like basically. Okay, so that means here to here, he gave me a discount of 250. Okay. Now, discounts and taxes are always over. Okay, let me just do it an, another way, okay? Um, discount, for example, is always with this formula. You must take the discount that they give you over the original price. Always, always remember this. It's always over the original. Original, original, original. I'm going to repeat this over and over again. Original, say with me, original price. Okay, now... So what was the discount that the uncle gave me? The uncle gave me $2.50 discount over what? Original price, which was $12.50. So that means now, this is the discount. Now, are we done yet? No. We must always times by 100%. So I'm going to include this times 100%. So $2.50 divided by $12.50 times 100% is going to give me a discount of what? Uh, 1 over 5 times 100%, which gives me 20%. Okay? Now, how did I just do that in my head? Because I'm smart. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Take a look. Eh? Just put in 2.5 divided by 12.5. You will get 0 0.2. 0 0.2 times 100 is going to give you 20. Then you leave the percent there, you get 20%. Okay, I'm going to do that again so that you can see this very, very clearly. Okay? I'm trying to make sure that your foundation is very, very strong. So again, eh? 250 divided by 1250 okay times 100% okay what you will get here is 0 0.2 if you put it in your calculator then times 100% now here's the very important thing that you must do so that you don't get it wrong you must get it right okay the percentage stays so keep the percent here okay when you write it out now then you just put it in your calculator 0 0.2 times 100 gives me what 20 so it answer is 20% discount. Now that's what a discount is. Now how about taxes? Taxes is basically saying, um, okay, I mean, I explain to you what taxes are first. Taxes is how the government, which is our Singapore government, which is the, the people or the, or, the, or the system that actually controls this, uh, this country, which is Singapore, um, make money. And why would you want to make money? We want to make money because we need money to operate. You know, um, for example, we need to operate the the lights, the lights on the on the road. You know, uh, what are they called? The traffic lights. We need money to 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 on the lights at night. Okay, we need all this money. And how do we do it? We tax people. In other words, people earn money. For example, I earn maybe uh, close to eight thousand dollars a month. Okay, uh, and peop and the government taxes me maybe ten uh, percent. Okay, so the government taxes me ten percent. Okay, and ten percent of eight thousand is eight hundred dollars. That means at the end of the year, I'm supposed to pay eight hundred dollars per month. Okay, I don't know. 
this is an example okay and then the day i'm going to pay 800 dollars 800 dollars actually it's only a year lah okay so 800 dollars a year so if there are 800 dollars okay and imagine how many people there are in singapore there are close to 6 million people okay so 6 million which times 800 dollars per person um just give you an example lah let's say if everyone makes 8000 dollars a month so 6 million which is 6 1 2 3 1 2 3 0 7 6 zeros times 800 dollars a month is going to give the government uh, there you see one two three four five six seven eight zeros eight zeros six of which becomes a million so it's actually going to create uh, you four thousand eight hundred million dollars which is actually about a billion uh, which is about four point eight billion dollars okay four point eight billion dollars so that's the amount of money the government gets from us and that money goes into uh paying for the for the light, for the energy, for the water, and all that kind of things. So that's how, that's what taxes is all about. Now that you understand what taxes are, so for example, let's say I tell you, uh, let's say I, uh, let's say the average Singaporean earns three thousand dollars, and the uh, the tax percentage is ten percent. So ten percent means every year they have to pay three hundred dollars. Uh, that's what it means. Okay. So now you understand already. Wow. Now you should be able to understand the whole thing whenever you come to discounts and taxes. Now with that, let's go into the question, question number five. Question number five is, um, oops, sorry, that's my Facebook. <laughs> How many bags of cookies, you know, the usual price of the oven is $120. Okay, usual price of oven is $120. And there is a 20% discount. The question is asking me, how much will it be after discount? Okay, now, here's another thing that you must understand. Original price is always considered... 100% now 100% discount means minus correct minus so 100% minus 20% which is the discount is going to be the price after discount so that gives me 80% 80% is the price after discount but what is the number the number is $120 times 80% Okay, which also is the same as 120 times 80 over 100. So you cancel the zero here, you cancel the zero here. Cancel the zero here, cancel the zero here. Be careful here. 12 times 8 divided by 1 gives me 12 times 8. Okay, which actually gives me 96. Am I correct? 12 times 8. 96, correct. 96. Okay, 12 times 8 is 96. So that means the price after discount is $96. Okay. Another way to do this is to just take out the discount first. So 20% discount times the price is 120. It's going to give you how much? 20 over 100 times 120. Cancel 0, cancel 0, cancel 0, cancel 0. 2 times 12 divided by 1 gives you $24. So that is the discount is given. And the price originally is 120. 120 minus the discount which is 24 is also going to give you $96. So this is the longer way. Alright, so that is how you do this question. If you got that one right, I'm going to give you a big high five because you are a math prodigy. Good job. So that's it for discounts and taxes and this comes from the topic of percentage. The only thing you need to remember is when it comes to discounts, always over the original price. Okay, so always discount over original price okay so with that let's bring that brings us to the final part of this thing which is trust yourself you know more than you think you do don't stress so much chill chillax yeah you already done all the work now it's time to trust yourself a bit and just do it i'll give you a, a, a big example i'm not so good at 12 multiplication tables but just now you notice when i said 12 times 8 i don't even know the answer but i just said it's 96 okay now how did i get there is because you know, because I've done this so many times. I've I've multiplied 12 times 8 by a lot of times before in my last 23 years when I'm living. So automatically, my brain already knows the answer even before I think. Now, that is the part that you need to get. You need to get uh, that power almost. And how do you do that? You do that by trusting yourself, by trusting in the work that you've already done, okay? Trust me, you know more than you think you do. So we, 100, um, PSI is almost 100 days away, not many more days left. Work hard, trust yourself, and you will do well in your PSLE. With that, this is Coach Saifu signing off saying you are a math prodigy. Good job.